Good morning, adventurers, and welcome to Strange Horticulture. This is, uh, this game's been out for a little while. It's, uh, pretty interesting, it's mostly story-based game, but it's based all around weird plants. Uh, I've played through it a couple times already. I really enjoyed it. I have no idea why I haven't streamed it yet. I figured it was time. With the weather getting all nice, and spring is out and everything, why not have a game? based around plants. And uh, just want to quickly say uh, I forgot to mention that I wouldn't be streaming last weekend, <laughs> as you're all definitely aware now, because we went traveling to a location where we could see the total eclipse, and it was super freaking awesome. It's the first time I've ever seen an eclipse in totality, so definitely worth the experience in the future if you ever get a chance, go see a total eclipse. One of the coolest things ever. Uh, this game does have controller support, which is nice, but I'm just going to go ahead and start a new game. Let's get into Strange Horticulture. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or, more likely, exchange unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Alright. Day one. Friday. I like it because it's kind of a mystery. Okay, first of all, here's our cat. We have to pet him. We have to pet him and give him a little love. He purrs. Ugh. Okay, my audio is a little jacked up, I feel like. I'm gonna turn it down just a hair. Yeah, maybe that's better. <laughs> Alright, so... I found it. An excerpt on the elusive wandering boo came to the library in Ambleside, and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the gilded dendra that may be of interest. From Simone. P.S. Give Hellebore a good scratch behind the ear for me. So I already did. That's Hellebore. He's our, our little sweetie. So we've got in our desk drawer... Uh, we have this book of plants that we already have. I'm going to look through this a little bit. This helps us identify plants. We also have a map, labels, an archive. Oh, here's another letter. What's this? Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. Keep it secret. Hmm. So when we get a chance to explore, we'll have to check that out, because yes, there is exploration in this game. I am playing with controller, so if you see the pointer going all crazy, that's why. Hello. I must have walked past the shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day, surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night, I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. So she wants St. John's Poppy. We don't know which of our plants that we have is St. John's Poppy. So let me take a look. Right. Vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a drought that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. The flowers of the St. John's poppy are bright red with a yellow center. So my guess is this is St. John's poppy. Yep. 
Ayo. We did identify it. Hey, Zonum, how's it going? Yeah, long time no see. All right, and then every time you appropriately identify a plant for the shop, you get new plants to identify. Heart-shaped leaves. And you can actually, oh, okay, there was more here than I realized. <laughs> I don't remember this being this big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, you can actually organize your plants. So ones that I've identified, I'm gonna put way over here and you can go ahead and water them. I don't know what watering them does, but oh yeah, you get the exploration point stuff. That's right. Hey, I'm glad you were able to catch me too. I hope your time out of town has been fun at least. All right, let's get another person in here. David Schaefer. Good morning. Bloody awful weather out there today. Good for the plants, though, eh? Got a little letter for you. Thank you. Oh, good. Glad to hear. We've been doing pretty good. Uh, just went and saw the total eclipse on Monday, so that was really freaking awesome. 13 hour drive though, which sucked. <laughs> All right, what's this letter? Ghostforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. Just as I had come to fear the wickedness had injected the heart of every soul in the cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower, and tears swelled down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Oh no, that sucks. We were worried that it was going to be cloudy, because it was like in the forecast for a while, but we had perfect, beautiful sunny day with like no clouds, and then it rained the day after. <laughs> We got really lucky. Okay, so goes forth. Uh, he was woods to the south of goes forth on the northeast corner of the wood. So we can pull up our map here and now we're going to go exploring. So here's goes forth woods to the south northeast corner of the woods. That tells me that's this square, I think. There are more important things I could be doing. Go back to the- okay, I got that wrong. <laughs> oh, that was northwest. I went west instead of east. That's why. <laughs> so yes, there is some exploration to be done in the world. And I just messed it up, so I'm gonna water our plants so I can go exploring sooner. Ooh. Heck yeah. That sounds awesome. I'll have to share the photos that I got. My brother got better pictures than I got. My dad also got to see it, but he was in a totally different place, so it was kind of cool because he saw it after us and we knew when it would be so we were like giving him a text of like hey enjoy the eclipse <laughs> it was almost like experiencing it with him but without him there it was yeah I don't know it was nice okay northeast of the woods not northwest <laughs> the wood has a calming effect on my mind it does me good to escape into nature away from the stench and clamor of Undermere it is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees and we get to collect a new plant. There we go. So you explore, collect plants. I'm gonna put that map away. And look at that, we got a check mark on that letter, which I'm gonna go ahead and put away as well. So we might explore once more.
sweet. I will have to check that out after a moment. Let's just water all these plants. Did I already water that one? I must have. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna try to find these dangerous plants. Ooh, those are awesome images, Sonam. Thanks for sharing those. That's great. Okay. And you can pull all your notes up over here too, whenever you're in the map. Uh, dangerous plant grows personally northeast of Back Barrow. So we've got to find Back Barrow. Here we go. Hills northeast. I mean. Oh, back there is here, so these are the hills to the northeast. Okay. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing, too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over a cloak of unwelcome shade. Ayo, another new plant. Ooh, last one has a sun flare. Let's check that out. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. We could actually see the sun flare just with our naked eye because it was just like a little bit of a pink dot at the bottom. It was really cool. All right, finish that. So we'll also have to go to Ambleside, but let's uh, help our next customer. Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around down through Back Barrow. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I've brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you fact in the extra miles I had to cover to get here. All right, so we gotta figure out which one is lemon dandy. Curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal issues, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. So we're looking for something with curled leaves, kind of shaped like that. I mean, no, not quite. Oh yeah, and we have a note there. I'll have to pick that up in a moment. Something... I mean, these... Oh, this might be it. Lemon dandy. Let me uh, take a closer look. Smell is faintly off-putting, but not overpowering. That looks like it. It has leaves that are curled like lemon rinds. There you go. We were right. Fantastic. And I forgot what he said he brought us. Oh no. <laughs> Can I look back at the dialogue? Because <laughs> that would have been really easy to name that one. <laughs> Oh, uh, well. My ADHD brain just did not retain that. <laughs> Alright, we can explore again, so maybe we go to Ambleside. Where is Ambleside? Oh, there's Ambleside. The library here in Ambleside is one of my favorite haunts. 
Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. Alright, so a couple of book entries. Gilded Dendra, do not drink the sap of this plant. Lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to dendrous miasma. A sure and painful way to die. Oof. Even touching the leaves can be painful. And we also had the wandering bow. Alright, next customer. Come on up. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her, a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing, but not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. So she wants forest camp free. Also, she has this. She is a person of interest. Faye Swift grew up with her mother. Her father was rarely violent, but once is enough. When he struck her, it finally broke the hold he had over her mother, and she fled in the night. Sleeping Faye held close. Faye often has vivid dreams. Oh, that's her dialogue. But has never considered that other people do not. She came to strange horticulture seeking relief from her nightmares. So she's a psychic. So we do have some people of interest that will come into the shop. Alright, forest camp free. Strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful soporific effect making it a common ingredient in sleeping droughts. The camphor produces beautiful rounded dark blue cluster made up of many smaller flowers. So this looks like it to me. Let's see if we have anything else. And let's go ahead and examine it. It's pungent but not unpleasant. The bulb is soft yellow, the leaves are waxy. It's either that or this one. I feel like it's this one. Let's try it. Ew. They'll get a little trickier to identify. And we got the page for Butterdale. Boop. There's nowhere else of interest for me to explore right now, so we're going to ignore the fact that we can explore. Nora Butterfield, got any wandering bow? That at least reminds me of, oh, what's his name? The old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the bow if you've got it. Alright, so we should have the page for it. So-called because this fungus can move slowly in the dark, it has been known to cover distances of up to several meters in a single night. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. Okay, we don't have very many mushrooms right now, so it's one of these two. Let's take a closer look. Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the undersides are somewhat sharp. I would say that's probably it. Hey, -o. got a new book entry. Lady of Summer. All right, so that's all the customers we have for the day. We could continue exploring. We can also try to self-identify some of these plants, which I might go through and do a little bit of. Also, we have this here. Oh, let's uh, put you away. I don't remember all the quick buttons for putting things away. Ah. I think that belongs to one of these. We have a secret in our desk. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the butters were family. <laughs> I don't really know who the Buttersworth family is. Let's see if we can identify some of these plants. We're not going to have all of these yet. So the Bishop's Parasol, I don't think we have because we only have one other mushroom and that doesn't look like that at all. Butterdale we might have. Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. Dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to form a poultice. Flowers smell buttery to some people. So this, I think, might be the Butterdale. Oh! Jeez, yeah, when you put Mrs. in front of it, it just registered immediately. <laughs> the maple syrup, yeah. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. The purple flowers have a light buttery scent. And you have various labels here. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that. I'm gonna pick the purple one because it's not confirmed like the others. Oh, this is where it gets a little wonky with the controller, right? Butterdale or something like that. I will set that over here. And what else do we have? Clavillium we might have. Can be used to open any lock no matter how complex or secure. Heart shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Love Lock. I think so this has heart shaped leaves. I'm not sure if that's it though. We can mark it to see. That's not heart shaped. Clavillium or something like that. Come on. I just do this because it makes it a little bit easier when we're trying to guess <laughs> the plants later. We don't have Farmer's Worry. We might have Fox Button. Represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs along the stem. There are quite a few that have flower or leaves growing like that. It's one of these three. It smells of nothing that I can detect. Those looked more like the drawing. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Oh hey! How's it going? This game is uh, going pretty good. How's it growing? Oh my god. <laughs> great, great pun. You used to be, uh, I'm gonna guess, pandemonium, right? Since you changed your name. And since I'm not certain about these three, I'm not going to label yet. Hey, yeah, <laughs> knew it. How have you been? <laughs> Thanks for coming by my stream. I'm also glad you were able to catch it. Of course, I remember you were like my first regular <laughs> when it came to streaming. Uh, let's see here. So that was Fox Button. Thick, shiny leaves. So it's probably not the red one. Gandy Root, Gilded Dendra. Let's just see if we can identify like one more plant, maybe? We might we might not have the pages for these plants. Oh hey, we do have what's this? 
Smells strongly of soured milk, bad enough to make my eyes water. So we do have another mushroom. didn't say anything about a milky fluid, so I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that one either. Oh man, I've probably changed jobs since then already. <laughs> so I started as an instructor and that went really well. It was a lot of fun. I met a lot of really good people and now I'm on to another new job, but I didn't have to move for it this time. Thankfully, but this job might have a lot of travel, so my streaming will likely be kind of sporadic. Ooh, Mary's breath. Wide waxy leaves allows this plant to collect large amount of water it requires. We might have that one. Yeah, I don't think we have a page for this mushroom yet. Anyways, I'm glad. That sounds awesome that you moved to Scotland. That sounds nice. We're just going to go ahead and end our day here. Move on to the next. Ooh, looks like tarot cards. Row H, the third river. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Yeah, it's definitely something that I want to do more of. I want to be traveling overseas, and that's what they told me, but they've already uh, made a bunch of changes, and I think the overseas travel that was already planned for this year might be next, which kind of sucks. We were looking at London and Hawaii this year, and now they're like, oh, we might not be doing it. I'm like, you suck. That's the only reason I took this job. <laughs> But they still might do some. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I've been to London before. I'd love to go back. And I definitely want to go to Hawaii. Never been. Okay, row H, the third river. H, third river. So one, two, this would be the third river. I think. Ew. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. Yeah, I hope so too. I was supposed to be going out to California. New plant. Um, at the end of this month, but I think even that got next. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I know my job is still trying to figure everything out. Oh, bring me a sample of Apis Demisis and be quick about it. The damn cat is setting off my allergies. Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. Hey, don't hate on my cat, Isidore Burbage. He also has a bio. Burbage is a rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced the love of his parents. He expects people to do his bidding and is, and is quick to anger. And there are many in Undermere who would be glad to see the back of him, but with wealth comes power, and few would challenge him to his face. Okay, he wanted Apis Demisis. I think that is actually... The, uh, like, Latin name. Epistemesis. Here we go. So, Gandhi root. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Alright. Rough leaves. It's bell-shaped. Let's take a look at this. The leaves are coarse to the touch. I think that is it. I think that's candy root. Ew. 
And we've got meat do page. I can't believe somebody brought me a flower and I completely missed what he said it was, so I didn't get to label it. Also, let's, let's pet our cat. Hello, Boris. Don't go kitty. You're a good kitty. Don't mind the me man. Lake Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. There's an old slate mine at the Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. From Amos Duncan. Okay, so... Old slate mine at the Hard Knot. Now, where would that be? Oh, over here. An iron gate rusted by years of abandonment sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, but it won't budge. Locked. Quavillium. So, I think... Did I not? Oh, I just didn't put it by the other one. I think this is Clavillium. It is indeed. Another way to identify plants. Agoria book page. And we get to collect three plants. The gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusty hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. Ooh, so many mushrooms. Okay, so this was confirmed, so we should change this to a yellow. There we go. Reuben Ward. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. So that was the one that I wasn't sure of that is kind of between these three plants. And I kind of think it's this one because of just the way the leaves look. All right. My instincts were correct. Start moving these guys out of the way. One time I played through this, I actually alphabetized all of my plants so I could find them easier. Because this whole thing will be pretty much filled up. <laughs> I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of St. John's Poppy. There's a medium using the room illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. <laughs> you want me to alphabetize again? <laughs> Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Harlequin Blue. Yeah, that's why I got this game, because I, I was really into like the apothecary stuff and plant stuff, and I was like, oh, this is great. It actually has a pretty intriguing story. It trickles in, and I love it, because it's, like, from the point of view of a shopkeeper. It was all you are, really. And it's kind of a mystery as well, and trying to figure out what plants are what. I enjoy it. This is definitely a game made for me. <laughs> okay, she wanted... What was it? Harlequin Blue? When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with a downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks, widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. <laughs> Love that. 
Okay, so it looks pretty unique. Do I even... Wait, did I already... No, that's Lemon Dandy. I don't think I have this yet. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not a straight up... Blue flowers, light, airy scent. I think this is it. Ew. Sweet. If you get it wrong, you'll start getting points towards dread, by the way. So there are consequences if you try to give somebody the wrong plant. And it's been a while since I've played it, so I don't really remember all of the plants. And what's what. Alright, so you want me to alphabetize. So what do we got going on here? I think Clavillium's gonna be our first one. Let's move some stuff around. And then... F... G... H... Oh, there's another F. Forest Camp Free and... Oh, did it just get moved? I think it just got... No, there's Fox Button. Forest Camp Free and Fox Button. So this will go here. H... Didn't I just move that? <laughs> no, I moved St. John's Poppy. I think it's getting a little crowded up there. All right, <laughs> let's do that. Uh, so then St. John's Poppy. There we go. That should be... Um... It winds up going into a puzzle that you have to repair your mind. And I don't know what happens if you fail that puzzle. I think you might get a game over. <laughs> if I remember correctly. I think I failed once. Bethany Coleman. Hello. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May Arduina bring her spirit peace. Oh, she's a witch. The nature of her death is unusual. The Sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry into the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. She also has a bio. Bethany Coleman. Beth was born into a loving family, but never felt settled. She sought out a higher purpose when she was still young, and left home at 14 to join the Sisterhood of Arduina. The head of the Sisterhood, the Arda, took a liking to her and helped her to develop a renewed purpose, caring for the forest and putting her faith in the goddess Arduina. Now her mentor has been murdered. And Beth is looking for answers. There we go, I thought there was more to that line. <laughs> Burn her? No! <laughs> Which is our normal in this world. <laughs> uh, Mary's breath. All right, Mary's breath, wide waxy leaves allows this plant to collect large amount of water it requires. Said as a person can be bound to secrecy using Mary's breath. It used to be grown in the royal garden so that the king could ensure the trust of his confidants, but the practice fell out of favor. So wide waxy leaves. We've got. A plant that is literally just leaves. This, uh, smooth waxy leaves. Sure. Ooh, okay, that wasn't it. And... I got dread. Vein leaves have a waxy finish. God. <laughs> no. How many of these have waxy leaves? Okay, it's gotta be this one then. Is this it? <laughs> okay. 
Of course, I was talking about the rising dread, so I had to get dread. And we got a letter. So let's open that. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen. The Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore across from Torver. Please help us. Yours in hope, the sisterhood of Arduina. All right, let me find the place for this Mary's breath. So there. I don't think there's room up here anymore. Let me take this wandering bow off and we'll stick the Mary's breath right in there. Let's start down here. So. <laughs> yeah. All that jazz. Um, where is that letter she gave us? Find a Stephen Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Torver. So there's Grisdale Forest. A mile from the lake shore. Okay. One of these squares is a mile. So here. A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I'm ushered into a walled courtyard and then through a large oak door along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on a table, draped in silk, is the Arda. There's not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as a raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? Asked my escort. I set to work. So I need Ren. Hey, Tony. I'm doing good. How are you doing? The long leaves of the Ren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons and so can be used to detect them. Though it has no flower, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. So either an unpleasant or a sweet smell, because we're not sure. Um, no flower, just long leaves. And this has long leaves. This technically doesn't have flowers, but I don't think this is it. Let's see. Has a scent that scratches at the back of my throat. Mm. Small red berries. That's the only plant we have that doesn't have flowers, right? Pretty sure this is a mushroom. Well, this doesn't, but that's just waxy leaves. Yeah. This technically doesn't have flowers. Red fruits, long flat leaves. Ugh. Hey, yeah. 20% <laughs> capacity, that's me like every day. Long leaves of the wren. Hmm. I am not sure about this. It smells faintly of wood smoke. Okay, that's not it. Oh, thanks for the stretch and for the hydrate as well. I appreciate that. Mm, some delicious water. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just popped my back. I <laughs> like three times. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Okay. So I'm kind of... I feel like it's probably wrong. Is this it? Hey, that was right. 
I extract a sample of the artist's blood and introduce it to the wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of the wren turn black, which could only mean one thing, gilded dendra poisoning. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I am grateful for. Also got a book entry. Sandfire, tough outer bark. Some chewed as a form of dental hygiene. Oh, I think that was this. And a couple of new plants. <laughs> I did have a seed of a doubt. <laughs> God. Your puns. Uh. So Ren's gonna go over here. All right, so we took care of that for the sisters. There's been a murder. And indeed, Tony, it is a morning to stretch. Oh, God. Oh, how I've missed that. <laughs> oh, you're as bad as OGV. Oh, man. All right. I'm close to reporting you, halfwit. The last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right, so we can give him Butterdale or Neek do. We already know what Butterdale is, but let's see what they do. Butterdale! Cure for all manner of skin rashes, so we should probably give him that. And Neek do does... Uh, will result in painful sores. Eh, yeah, let's give him the Butterdale. Pretty sure it's this plant. And that's been confirmed. Restorian. Okay, so we'll change out the color of the tab on this. Maybe. Come on. There we go. And Butterdale gets to go over there. Alright, I don't think there's anything we want to explore, so let's go ahead and end our day. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rusland, south of Crinkle Crags. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. Hmm. Day three, Sunday. Of course, let's uh, say good morning to Helboris. She's such a good kitty. All right, this is gonna be a fun one. Yeah, they're kind of the same vibe. <laughs> Just. Definitely why I got this game. Zona brought that up earlier. <laughs> North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick. Okay, so first of all, let's find Hawkshead. Well, there's Lowick, which means, here we go. So east of Lowick, north of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rusland. Jerusalem. It's gotta be around here, because there's Hawk's Head. Oh. West of Jerusalem. Okay, east of Floic, west of Jerusalem, north of Hawk's Head, and then south of Crinkle Crags. So this should be the square. Haha! -ha! My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing. A whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face, but only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched finger and am surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there, hidden from view. Heyo! More plants. 
Yeah, I think Potion Craft is supposed to get an update where you actually like garden and stuff. I don't know if that's actually been implemented yet. I need to go back to that game and check it out at some point. It's been a while. And I like don't know why I haven't streamed Strange Horticulture before now, because I definitely should have done it soon after Potion Craft. <laughs> it's been out a while. Wilbur Miller. I'm looking for a plant. Um, Lady of... what's it? Something or other. Um, I'm no green-eyed drear, that's for sure. My mind isn't all at all what it needs to be. It's the one that's supposed to help with mental decline. Lady of Summer. Alright. The leaves curl around delightfully, which, combined with an attractive flower and a hearty nature, make this a sought-after ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory, deterioration associated with old age. That doesn't give me much. Leaves curl around delightfully. I have so many plants that do that. I have three right now. So, I don't know, let's check this. Dark blue petals are soft and feathery to the touch. My fingers ache from handling this plant. Probably not that one. A single sweet smelling dark flower. These don't tell me much. A single pink flower that smells pleasant. It's ornamental. Let's try this one. Oof! Lucky guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I gotta figure out where you go. Should be by Lemon Dandy. Just before Lemon Dandy. So... There we go. Which means you can go over here. Hello, David, you brought me another letter. They're saying the art has been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust the sisterhood, but it seemed to me the art always looked out for the less fortunate. Thanks for the news, for the letter. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Great Gable. Can we do that yet? So that's a mountain. After several hour hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I'm still some distance from the summit. I'm freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sensible thing and turn back down the mountain. Unless, do we have Brimlock? Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a drought made using leaves from the Brimlock plant, warming effect that protects against stream cold. When conditions are just right in the cold of winter, Brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. Small yellow flowers and waxy. That wasn't this, was it? No. Well, these were waxy leaves. Maybe because we're not in winter here. Ayo. I push on, no longer feeling cold. I am presently rewarded. We also identified that, so we get a new page. And a new plant. Alright, Brimlock. <laughs> Let's start scooting everything down a little bit. You lemon dandy, come on down here, and Brimlock should go up by Butterdale. There we go. So now we know what that other waxy leaf was that made me click some dread for the day. This plant is cursed, and it it's brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. Alright. New mushroom. Blech. Mushrooms are gross. Put them by the other mushrooms. 
Simone, you came from the other place. Hellebore, always pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he hasn't been nibbling the plants again. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging out the information on those plants. I've been burning the midnight oil again. Could use some common trouse, and I know where to find it. According to Grayson's Herbology, it grows in abundance on Red Pike. I'll come by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business in Sedberg in the meantime. Common trouse. Take this. Book entry. All right. So, Red Pike. There we go. I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the views majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I am after. Ew. So, I'm, def I'm immediately... We already know that's common trouse. That's what she sent us for. And now I gotta squeeze it up there. <laughs> that should be the right spot. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> he does blend in. He's such a cutie. You can give him a pet. I don't know if you can hear that purr, but he purrs when you pet him. Alright, next person. Verona Green. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put on a bit of a show every now and then. Let the punters know what I'm capable of, sort of thing. He is adorable. Just naps most of the time. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad, and the little bugger called my bluff. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. I can assure you, he deserves to be turned into a toad. Anyway, I think a little display is needed to discourage this sort of behavior in the future. Have you got any shimmer lung? She has a bio. Verona has been studying the occult and, and the mysterious for many years. It started as a hobby, but gradually grew into an obsession. She haunts the boundary between truth and tale, seeking out the knowledge that others recoil from. She also brews a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> glad, glad you approve of <laughs> her wanting to turn this boy into a toad. Okay, Shimmerlung. What have we got here? Shimmerlong. Dried stem of the Shimmerlong burns very brightly and noisily, letting off a near blinding white purple light. Flowers grow wrapped in large, ridged leaves. And they look really weird. So, I only know one plant that's like that, and that's this. Pleasing scent, the leaves have stiff ribs. So I'm going to say this is the Shimmerlong. Ew. I have no idea if that's relevant. I don't know astrology off the top of my head. Alright, where do you belong, Shimmerlong? Right before St. John's Poppy. I don't know how Wandering Bow wound up there. I think I just forgot to put stuff in the proper place when I was moving it around. Next, Irving Harris. Sorry if I'm shouting, I'm a little hard of hearing. I'm looking for a plant that can supposedly help me hear better, but I've forgotten what it's called. I remember it's bright red, though. Huh. I think I read something about that. So the only bright red plant we've identified is St. John's Poppy, and then we have a couple others. Let's check with St. John's Poppy. 
Uh, create a drought that can greatly improve the imbibers hearing. Yep. Here you go. St. John's Poppy. Fantastic. Let's end the day. Ooh. That card is torn. Time passed. A year, and then another. The book remained hidden, but out of sight did not mean out of mind. The book was what her thoughts settled on when she rested, what she brooded over when she did her chores, what she pictured when she dreamed. I think we're having dreams about all this. Day four, Monday. So this would be... Hello, hello, Boris. Uh, let's inspect the map. This isn't the right way to inspect it. That's not the way I wanted to do it. Uh, let's set it out here and open the map. X marks the spot. So I think this is a form of landscape and it looks like it matches right down there. So left of black comb, I think here. I like these little puzzles. Ew. The gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight through scattered clouds, a reset. And we got a couple of new plants. Aw, those are pretty. Okay, let's open for the day. It's Reuben again. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sister had still refused to speak openly with me. Not that I have the time to pursue it properly. I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found up at the Swinside Stone Circle, and apparently it's a grisly one. Don't suppose you've got anything to help keep my lunch down? Swinside Stone Circle. My stomach's never coped too well with the grizzly ones. And he also has a bio. Did I read this? Ribbon works with the police on murder cases. He is a kind, good-humored man, but beneath the mask, he is deeply sad. His only child, a daughter, had seemed troubled for some time before running away from a home several years ago. The victims whose stories he tries to uncover are all somebody's son, somebody's daughter. The search for answers drives him forward, piecing together the logic of life and death. Alright, so he wants Fennet, and we need to remember Swinside. In fact, before you go, let me water some of my plants. And, uh, I'm gonna go hit up Swinside myself. And we can explore. Swinside Stone Circle. Where would that be? Well, there's... Oh, right here. Swinside Stone Circle. Nobody knows why these stone circles were built, but standing in this tranquil place, it's not hard to imagine pagan rituals being performed here. No grizzly scene for us to check out. Boo. Alright. Let's check out Fennet. Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. It has long, soft leaves. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Unless it's what the guy brought. Huh? Was this? Was that it? Was that Fennet? It was! <laughs> Witch fit. All right, Fennet, we got a place for you somewhere over here. Oh, how do how do things keep moving? Stop it. There. See, I would have known that was Fennet had I paid more attention to when that guy brought the plant to me. <laughs> I 
Morning. Verona Green handed me this for you. She seemed in a good mood. Oh, Insta Explorer. I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant in a recent trip to Grisdale Forest, just northeast of Rusland. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. I would have brought it back with me if the sisterhood had given me a moment alone, but they seem overly protective lately. Okay. Northeast of Riceland. Rusland. North east. Actually go east this time and not west. From the moment I step off the road, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. Suddenly, I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elbows. Nobody may wander freely throughout the forest by order the artist as the leader of the trio. I turn to walk back, but then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Mellow Glow. We just walk around with all of our plants on us all the time. What is Mellow Glow? Okay, we only have one thorny plant that I know of. Among other uses for this plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it is possible to become hidden from sight and memory. The Mellow Glow has sharp thorns that protect it from predators. And what? What are you doing over here? What? What's happening? <laughs> just, just stay. Okay, mel Mellow Glow. Thorn. Thorny. Ooh. Do I have two plants that are thorny? Hmm. Turquoise flowers, sharp thorns. That doesn't help. Single pink flower that smells pleasant. Well, let's mention the thorns specifically, so let's give that a shot. That's Mellow Glow. Alright, with the help of Mellow Glow, I walk right past the sisters without them paying me any heed. Chuckling to myself, I collect the plant that Verona talked about and take my leave. Noise. Another new plant. Okay, you go somewhere down here. Where are my ands? After the Mary's breath. Gonna have to start reorganizing a bunch of stuff soon. Faye Swift, you're back. I am afraid. The camphor you gave me is helping me sleep, and I'm very grateful for it, but the visions are as strong as ever. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. She screams at me, but I do not know why, and behind her, that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of color that refuses to come into focus. Some part of me wants to stare down that abyss, but I'm afraid. Aguria or Candlewood? Aguria. When burned, incense made from the woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. Or, she said Candlewood. Produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting against all manner of afflictions of the mind. Long thin stems grow among tall leaves. Let's see if we can find her candlewood to help her out. Because who knows what happens if you open the psyche more. Alright, hold on here. Whoops, I didn't want to put it away. <laughs> Red flower. That provides a shielding effect. Long thin stems grow among tall leaves. It's not a flower, that's roots. Long flat leaves. I mean, this is, well, this is also a red flower. Bright red flowers grow at the ends of thin stems. That might be it. Doesn't match the drawing at all. Small leaves, delicate flowers. I don't know what that drawing's supposed to be of. Hmm. Well, let's try this one. Ew. 
Candlewood. Okay. So hopefully she'll be shielded and stop having those freaky dreams. Should go right there. Next. Margaret Elspeth. We don't come to Undermere often, but I heard about your shop and I said to Francis, we simply must pay a visit. It's a wonderful breath of life in an otherwise dreary town. I'm not the green-fingered one, and it's not really his cup of tea, but I persuaded him the trip would do him good, and besides, he'll be wanting to take a boat out on the lake. Shame about this awful weather, though. You must come to Sizerg. We have a small library with some books on plants that my grandfather acquired that my grandfather acquired many years ago. I'm sure they will be of interest to horticulturists such as yourself. All right, we're getting a letter from her. Thank you. You are cordially invited to Sizerg Castle, Lord and Lady Elsbeth. Sizerg, huh? Where is this castle? That's Sedberg. Oh, Sizerg. Let's go. Thanks for the invite. I'm greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elspeth herself. She's very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer as she takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she exclaims, pointing out a plant that I do not recognize, but before I can stop to take a look, she has already whisked me on to the next. And this one too, she says. I'm quite exhausted by the time we make it to the library, and I don't have the time to make as thorough a study as I would like. Nevertheless, I am able to find an interesting entry that I note down. Don't forget these, Lady Elspeth cries as I make to leave. She thrusts the plants from the gardens into my hands, and I thank her warmly. Well, that was a nice interaction. Fever kiss. Ooh, red berries. And leaves are pale in color, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be this. Let's see. I'll mark it as purple, unknown, fever kiss. We'll tuck that away, and next customer. Oh. Mushroom, red spores, moves in the dark. That's all I've got. Any ideas? Um, actually, wasn't that the wandering bow? Whoops, wrong thing. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to open. I want to put it away. <laughs> I like it because you start to get to know your plants as well. Mm, move slowly in the dark, known to cover distances. Yep. He wants the wandering bow. Selena Scott. They're saying Black Comb is haunted now. Bradley Miller told me he saw the ghost of a huge deer, antlers and all, but then Bradley Miller also says he can talk to squirrels. So go explore that. Either way, there's something evil in them hills, and I'm not taking any chances. Awful what happened to that poor young man up at Swinside. I've come for some stinking mount cap. Black Comb, you say? Hold on, just stay there. I'm going exploring. Where is... Okay, there's Swinside. Where is Black Comb? These people get around a lot. Red Pike. Oh, I'm not seeing him. I'm just missing... <laughs> Sometimes there's just a lot on the map. Oh, right here. Black comb. I see a pit full of skulls, some deer, fox, badger, and some human. I wish I had not come. <laughs> Whoops. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Alright, sunset. Uh, 
Wait, Sunset Mountain Cap or Stinking Mountain Cap? I think it's it must be both. Oh, look. I'm right on the page. Sunset Mount Cap is a type of fungus with domed caps, sometimes called stinking mount cap, as a result of its unpleasant odor, thought to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways. It is mildly toxic to humans and should not be eaten. Domed and smells awful. So we've got quite a few domed ones. Vicious white liquid, viscous white liquid can be seen oozing from its underside. That's one of the other ones we have an entry for. Mushroom-like plant with red warts growing on it. Nothing about smell. Ooh, this one. Has flies flying around it. Smells strongly of soured milk, bad enough to make my eyes water. Yeah. We will collect that. And let's put you where you should build go maybe there we go all right what have i got going on shimmer long st john's so sunset mount camp all right we'll end the day another day down She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband three miles to the east where the Everheart grows. Hmm. At 15, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl drew inward as her father turned to drink. So we've got this ongoing story every night. Day five, Tuesday. Okay, lives alone in the castle northwest of the abbey. Hello, good morning, Helleboris. I'm gonna put that here and pull out the map. Open that over here. Castle to the northwest of the abbey. Okay, well there's Calder Abbey and there's a castle northwest of it. And then she buried her husband three miles to the east. So, one, two, three, B4, B4 or B3? Dead tree, its bark cracked and blackened by fire, stands alone on the hillside. Off to one side, a patch of flower grows on a low mound. That's an interesting looking plant. All right, let's open our shop. Hey, Faye's back. I must thank you. Last night, for the first time in weeks, my mind was calmed. I am no longer tormented by visions of the woman in the jade mask and that terrible monster. Now I'm wondering, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have some worry less to keep my over-anxious thoughts at bay. All right, worry less. Whoops. Worry less. Aptly named plant, inhaling the smell of the flower is said to help ease symptoms of anxiety. That entry doesn't help me at all. Ah, boy. Anything that looks remotely like those flowers, I guess I will pull aside. Um, my, my guess is, okay, well, we think that's Fox Kiss, so let's check this out. Said flower, small yellow berries, so not that one. Dark blue flower smells like sweet rhubarb, but it doesn't have the, <laughs> why are you doing this to me, game? Smell of the flower. So it's got a flower. This also has flowers. Soft pale blue flowers. That's all that tells me. 
Oh, I love it when the game gets like this. What are these? Bulb is quite firm, turquoise in color, orange fruits have no noticeable odor. It's probably not that, so I'm thinking this. Nope. Okay. That's berries and not flowers. This is also berries. None of these look like this. <laughs> okay, not that one. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. Oh, what about this? Probably not this. Rather unpleasant scent. Just try this one. Nope. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get dread. Pale yellow flower on the top right. This one, maybe? Cream colored flowers. They smell wonderful. Well, let's give it a shot. They smell nice. That was right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that entry really doesn't help. <laughs> All right, worryless. Um. Why? Why? <laughs> Why was the wandering bow all the way over there? I swear, every time I start a new day, it rearranges some of my plants. <laughs> I was trying to go by the leaves, but I don't know. Those, to me, don't look like... I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Mm, went by the angle of the leaves. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I met a strange man on the road to Sudberg not two days ago. Stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you. Don't ask me what. So I took him where to find you, but he looked stricken when I mentioned Undermere. Told him where to find you. Said he doesn't come near towns at all if he can help it. He was headed west. At least, I think he was. Said he was looking for the Winster Spring. I'll write this down for you. Anyway, that's my news. Did you manage to find the plant I wanted? Common trials. Did I read her? I think I did. Maybe not. Simone loves books and readings. She is also irritatingly organized and has begun the overwhelming task of rearranging the library at Ambleside. Her new system works, but it will take years to catalog every book, scroll, pamphlet, and diary. In the meantime, every day yields new discoveries, buried fragments of ancient knowledge resurface, resurfacing to the light like arrowheads to archaeologists. Ah, uh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay, so she said she would write that all down for me and needs the common trouse, which we did find. It should be in the seas. There we go. A man wanted to meet you headed west from Sedberg, possibly near the source of the river Winster. Let's check it. Good eyes on them. Okay. Sedberg. Right. Let's pull this out. Headed west from Sedberg near the source of the river Winster. So that would be... That's the river... Oh, River Winster. 
The hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the spring. The cooled remains of a fire ringed by stones is the only immediate sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there is no reply. The hermit is not here. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discovered some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. Down to right three. Down to right three. So we are here. One, two, one, two, three. The camp at the Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. Oh, yes, yes. Ho, 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 the man says. You must take this. Take it, take it. At his insistence, I receive the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope delicately on the top. Ho, ho, it's no use to me anymore. Ho, ho, no use. Don't forget the red, the red, the red, the red. Ho, ho, Ebony. I'm sure that he is quite mad. The red Ebony. It is said that the red ebony plants has plant has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or a secret. I have perfected a device designed to use extract from the plant in concert with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics otherwise invisible to the naked eye. So I need red ebony. Let's put these away for now. Do I have even a page on Red Ebony. I don't have a page on Red Ebony, but my guess is it would be red. Like, what if I... Ooh. Oh, that... I didn't realize my dread was high and that would give me dread. <laughs> A shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. All right, puzzle time. Let's just uh, start arranging some of these. And not that one, not there. <laughs> At least you guys get to see this. Did it on purpose. <laughs> totally meant to do that. <laughs> I mean, that might go there? Or... No. I think all of them fragment into the middle, so it probably doesn't go there. Yeah. Alright, hold on. I did not realize that getting that plant wrong was uh, gonna do this, so. Right, this is a double line that goes there. Did these two, yeah, those two clicked into place. This is a, not a dotted in the right spot. This is, that goes there. That's part of the circle, which is this. I'm not sure where that goes yet. But that should be that side of it. This has the two lines. should go. No. Nope. 
Nope, those don't match. This has two lines, though. I bet you that goes in between. Uh -huh. And then that goes there. Okay, one missing piece, and then I gotta figure out how this all goes together. Okay. <laughs> Move this. This goes over. Nope. This goes over here, though. <laughs> this goes over here, and then this goes the other way. Down here, and am I missing a piece? There it is. <laughs> I accidentally buried a piece. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. Okay, so we know that one wasn't red, Ebony. Oh, my dread is fine. Nope. <laughs> okay, I don't think we have it yet. So we'll put that away. I'm not long for this world, and I have decided that I want to be buried in a grave decorated with the rare and beautiful Cavalia, like a drear huntsman with their dranthium covered tombs. Alright. A rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. So that just broke my mind, and I think if you do it so many times, the puzzle gets more complicated, and if you can't solve it, it leads to a game over. I don't really remember. Um, <laughs> those who can afford it place wreaths made from it at the graves of their loved ones. Kabaya flowers almost always contain six petals. Finding a seven petaled flower is considered to bring good fortune. Okay, well, we got one like that. That's five petals. That was five petals, though, too. This is six petals. I think this might be it. Flowers are soft purple with a sweet scent. That looks, that looks exactly like it. hey -o. All right, let's uh, go put this over. By all the seeds. Uh, oh, that's G. I'm gonna have to move. How did the common trouse wind up at the end? <laughs> okay, maybe alphabetizing isn't that great because it just keeps moving my stuff around. There we go. Next. Oop, thank you for the hydrate and the stretch. Oh. It's a person in a jade mask. <clears throat> I will read that in a minute. Oh, stretch. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. And thank you for the hydrate as well. This time it was coffee. <laughs> Hydrating with coffee. Uh, your reputation is growing, horticulturist. I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are difficult to acquire. My head feels like it's being torn in two lately. I'm looking for some... Hop heart? Hop heart? 
Aren't you the person that the other person's been dreaming about? The woman in the jade mask, yeah. Little is known about the mysterious woman in the jade mask. She is occasionally seen in Undermere, but people understandably avoid her cold demeanor. Alright, let's see what we've got for you. Someone's been dreaming about you. Inhaling smoke from burning the dried leaves of this plant can provide pain relief. Firm leaves grow up the stems, leading to blue flowers. Alright, let's grab all of our bluish flowers. I mean, you're kind of gray-blue. I'd say you're more purple, but... I apparently miss some stuff. Okay. So immediate first thought was this one. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. I mean, yeah. That was basically verbatim in the book. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay, hop heart. Over by the ages. So you go in between these two. Boop. Excellent. We just helped the woman in the jade mask. Hello, Verona. Reuben Ward has called on my unique expertise to aid in his investigation at the Swinside Stone Circle. Unique expertise. Ha! Huh. He knows how to flatter an old woman when he wants something. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a good long thought, actually. But my curiosity has got the better of me. He must be desperate if he's coming to me, and I'll bet they've found something juicy down there. Signs of ritual sacrifice, maybe. I could do with some witch fig to take with me. Always comes in useful. Alright, witch fig. I remember when we got that page. Plant that is said to have many uses, including easing the symptoms of infection, soaking up moisture, and detecting the presence of certain compounds. It is also well liked by butterflies. It has similar leaves to the fever kiss plant, which it is often confused with. Okay, we think this is Fever Kiss. And it seems to have berries. So, my guess is this. Ew. <laughs> Glad I identified kind of the Fever Kiss. Jacob's worth. All right, witch fig. Oh, down here with the W's. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Moving right along. Isidore Burbage, you're back. I never see anybody in your shop. It's a daily surprise to me that you're still in business. Well, I just had like three people before you, so... Screw you. Believe me, I wouldn't be in here if I didn't have to be, especially with that damn cat still here. I need some Bishop's Parasol for a work-related matter. You're such a jerk. Bishop's Parasol. Mushroom found in dark, damp places, feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surroundings in darkness. The gills on the underside of the mushroom seep a milky fluid that can be consumed as a treatment for stomach pains. Okay, that's not... I think this was the milky one, wasn't it? Mushroom-like plant with red warts growing on it. Nope. One of you was milky. Viscous white liquid can be seen oozing from its underside. Is it you, then? Hey, got it right. Hmm. 
Okay. Bishop's parasol. You know, maybe I'll keep the mushrooms on a different shelf by themselves that we've identified. Let's do that. So I don't have to rearrange everything yet. Bishop's parasol. And then we have sunset, mount cap, and wandering bow. There we go. All right, let's end the day. Not long after the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. Day six, Wednesday. The old man of Coniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current floating gently southwards to the fork. Okay, old man of Coniston. Also, good morning, Helleborus. Old man of Coniston. So, we gotta find wherever Coniston is. It's gonna be by some sort of river. <laughs> oh, well, there's the old man. Oh, there's Coniston Water. Okay, the old man of Coniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southwards to the fork. So, here we go. The heavens open up as I reach the fork. I take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water. I'm soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. I'm not empty-handed. Two new plants today. And I see one of my mushrooms just migrated on its own. Oh, those are pretty. Oop. Open my drawer so I can put my map away. Alright, what have we got? What have we got? Hello, Eleanor Bramer. The insects make the salt marshes uninhabitable. People stay away and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I have drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. Why, thank you. I don't know if that's a very helpful map. Okay. Let's bring it up. And I'm a map. 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 This looks like. It could be this peninsula here. Because hmm. you got then the river and this other little tiny river. Yeah, the, that's the shape of this lake. So it's somewhere in this area. <laughs> it's not exactly... Oh! Okay, that's the line between... Mm -hmm. So, my guess is here. A, the air is thick with flying, biting insects, an unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I'm overwhelmed. If only I had some blue winter to keep them at bay. Winter boar. Let's see, winter boar, winter boar. Also known as blue aloe or blue winter, after its cool blue-gray flowers, winter boar is a hardy plant often found growing in extreme cold environments. The rubbery leaves make an effective insect repellent when applied to the skin. Cool blue-gray flowers. Well then. Hello. Rubbery leaves. Very blue. Very blue. 
Yes. Hey. The blue winter saves my skin, but the swirling mass of insects is so thick in places that it's hard to see. At length, I come across what I came for and hurry away. New plant acquired. All right. Winter boar. Over here by the W's. Sweet. Hello, Bethany. Thank you for your help and discretion earlier. The Sisterhood is grateful, but the news that the Arda was poisoned with Gilded Dendra has everyone worried. The temporary acting Arda is panicking. I, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but one of the sisters has gone missing, a runaway called Thea that we took in a few years ago. We were trying to find her, and Sister Charlotte remembered that the Jacob's Worth plant is said to help locate people. Alright, we already read Bethany Coleman's, that's right. Okay, Jacob's Worth. People tend to be drawn to the unusual flowers of the Jacob's Worth, but it is the leaves that have the most interesting properties. It is said they will point the way towards any person you wish to locate and have been used successfully to find many a lost wanderer out in the fields. Okay, so we've got... I feel like this is the only plant we have with those kind of leaves. The leaves seem to have a mind of their own. Oh yeah, that's a pretty flower. All right, plant identified. We got Solomon's scepter. You know, I might look through and see if anything might also be called red ebony, because it might not be a red flower. Okay, J. That goes down here. Because we need that red ebony to see secret stuff. So I'm just going to go through real quick. Guria. Oh. I bet you this is a Guria. Light blue flowers. No, oh, well, I'm thinking of it. Let's, uh... Do a possibly a Guria. And we'll move it over there. Um, okay, we already know Bishop's Parasol. Brimlock, Butterdale. Any of these referred to as Red Ebony? Green eye, that's not it. Eye bright. Nope. Farmer's worry, I don't think, is referred to as red ebony. Fever kiss doesn't say anything about it. Do not drink the sap of the plant. That's the poisonous plant. <clears throat> the sand fire we already know of. Uh, let's see, this has fruit. No, 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 no. I don't think we have anything that's referred to as red ebony. So that might be a little bit before we get to use that and see magic things. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes called Everheart. Kidney shaped petals. I'm pretty sure that's this. Might as well. Royal Gen Gentia. So 
Solomon's Scepter, Hell's Gate. Oh, geez. Solomon's Scorn. Oh, wait. Uh, dark red fruit should not be ingested. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I don't think we have anything on Red Ebony yet. Okay, next up then. I just wanted to double check while I was thinking about it. Hello, who are you? Arthur Cook. It's my wife's birthday and I wanted to get her something special. There was a plant that she used to love as a child, but she hasn't been able to find any in years. It's sort of bulb-like and has a strong smell to it, but strong in a good way. And, oh, the flower is more like lots of little flowers. So it's something we've identified before. Lots of little flowers, bulb-like, smells good. Pungent, but not unpleasant. So I wanna say that you want the forest camphory. Got it. Ennis Aylford, we've had our eye on you for some time now. Join us. Praise the Dendru. <laughs> okay. A man who claims to represent the group known as the Seeds of Redemption. He grew up in nearby Gosforth, but it's rumored that he spent time living in Rydell Cave. It is not clear what happened in the intervening years, but by the time he came to Undermere, he had dedicated his life to the one he calls the Woken Dendru. Got some cults going on. That's cool. I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise would be very useful to us, and we have much to offer in return. Let us know we can count on you by leaving a single St. John's poppy flower outside the Sad Gill Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Praise the Dendru. St. John's poppy flower outside of Sad Gill Church. All right. Sure, why not? They're threatening me if I don't do it. Sad Gill. Sad. Sad Gill. Where? You couldn't give me better directions. That's Ambleside. Daughterstone Circle. Oh, Sad Gill. Alright, the church isn't hard to find in the small hamlet of Sad Gill. This must be the place. St. John's Poppy. There we go. Alright. Done before Friday. Let's get involved with the cult, shall we? We've run our own cult before, why not? Like, what's, what's, what's joining another cult? <laughs> I'd join a plant cult. <laughs> Maybe. Hello, Verona. I have returned from Swinside. Whoops. I must admit, I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the Stone Circle. And the poor victim. Well, the less said about him, the better. Reuben had it right, though. Grizzly. At the beginnings of a theory, but I'd like to run some tests on a sample of Gilded Dendra. Gilded Dendra is that super poisonous one, isn't it? It's called a gardening club. <laughs> Uh. Okay, gilded dendra. Yeah, do not drink the sap of this pl sap of this plant. Dendra is my asthma, a sure and painful way to die. Even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Oh, there's one. This one. Uh, every time we touch it, my fingers ache from handling this plant. It's you. You're so unassuming looking. All right, you're the super poisonous one that if people drink it, they'll die. I'm gonna set you off to the side. Okay. Next, Miss Ann Wood. My aunt died two weeks ago and I inherited her house. I have been sifting through her possessions and last night I found something unusual. In a forgotten corner of the attic, I found a coffin. More unusual still, it was bound by strong vines, so strong that I cannot cut through them. 
immediately thought of your shop. You know the plants, right? You know about plants, right? Royal, oh, Royal Gentia. That would be um, this one, I think. Hey, confirmed. So let's change the color that has been confirmed. All right, in the day. Before she left, she returned to her hiding place and carefully retrieved the book, her excitement building as she did. She couldn't articulate what was so alluring to her about the book, but by now it had become an obsession. Alright, we are on day 7 Thursday, but I think that's where I'm going to call this stream. I've been going on for a couple hours almost. <laughs> it has been Little Shop of Horrors the whole time. You just didn't know it. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh it's just a really kind of fun chill game that you actually have to puzzle stuff out and i really enjoy the puzzles and like the mysteries in it there are some choices in it like i could have given that one guy who's a jerk the plant that gives him blisters instead of the one that helps him <laughs> could have done that on purpose <laughs> Yeah, it's super intriguing. It's good. I enjoyed it. I played through it a couple times already, so... You know, I got on last time and checked... Uh, I tried to look through the extensions and I didn't see anything for followers. I'm not sure which extension you're talking about, Tony. You might have to message me about it in Discord. But thanks for coming by, y'all. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and week next week. And uh, Claire, thanks for coming by. It's so nice to catch up with you again. And uh, same with you, Zonum. I know you've been busy, so... I will uh, hopefully catch y'all next weekend. The Discord, there should be a link somewhere on my Twitch and YouTube. That goes direct to Discord. Yeah, you have a great week, too. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you later.